the horrifying scene unfolded tonight when an anti-immigration white supremacist marched into the Masjid al-Nur Mosque, full of worshippers for Friday prayers, in Christchurch, New Zealand and opened fire with an automatic rifle. Casualty numbers are still unknown, but they are expected to be high, early reports suggest as many as 40 to 50 people have been shot. Other reports indicate there may have been a second attack at another mosque in the same city. The killer, believed to be a 28-year-old white Australian man named Brenton Tarrant, live-streamed his massacre on social media and reportedly posted a manifesto, in addition to pictures of his weapons, emblazoned with white supremacist slogans like the 14 words, we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children, and the dates of famous historical battles between Christians and Muslims. His posted manifesto was a list of right-wing grievances based on race and religion straight out of the noxious hate warrens of H.N., the same disgusting ideas that are sanitized and promoted by the right-wing media here in the United States and the White House itself. That much was made obvious with his stated intention to influence political matters in the United States by fracturing the U.S. along cultural and racial lines and his admiration of President Trump as a symbol of renewed white identity and purpose. The massacre is the latest gut-wrenching reminder that, no matter how hard the lickspittle sycophants of the right wing try to fearmonger about violence on the left, it is their own disciples time and time again that commit these kinds of heinous crimes. Those same conservative pundits that clutched their pearls and howled in impotent rage at the tame remarks of Ilhan Omar against APAC, but two weeks ago have spent the majority of their worthless careers casually promoting disgusting Islamophobia and defending their fellow white nationalists, and today, we have paid a bloody price in allowing those hateful ideas to metastasize in the minds of disaffected white men. The same ideas casually promoted by the President of the United States that white genocide is real and that immigrants are part of a grand plot to invade and exterminate the white race are allegedly at the heart of tonight's atrocity and the responsibility for this crime should weigh heavily on his heart.